Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Today we finally got some semblance of accountability for one of the darkest chapters of Donald Trump's attempted coup. A district judge has found today Rudy Giuliani liable for defaming two Georgia election workers as part of his effort to spread Donald Trump's big lie of a stolen 2020 election. The disgraced former mayor will now go on civil trial to determine how much he pay, must pay in damages to Ruby Freeman and her daughter, Shea Moss, over statements like this, which Giuliani has already admitted in court proceedings were false and defamatory. What could have taken those ballots out? Look at them scurrying around with the ballots. Nobody in the room hiding around. They look like this. They look like they're passing out dope, not just the ballots. Uh, it is quite clear they're stealing votes. It's a tape earlier in the day of Ruby Freeman and Shea Freeman Moss and one other gentleman quite obviously surreptitiously passing around USB ports as if they are vials of heroin or cocaine. That was a transparently racist lie. Obvious and despicable at the time, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss did absolutely nothing wrong. In fact, they were just two women who wanted to contribute their efforts and labor to the maintenance of American democracy and to dispatch their duty with diligence and patriotism. They initially became the target of these conspiracies when a far-right website published blatant lies about the two women committing widespread voter fraud in Georgia. That initiated a kind of feedback loop that then made its way to both Giuliani and Donald Trump, who decided to make these two black women the center of their deranged voter fraud conspiracy. Again and again, both in public and in private, the two men lied, claiming these two election workers, Again, two women who are doing the glamorless work of making sure an election works, right? Counting votes. That these two women had somehow stolen tens of thousands of votes in the state of Georgia. On that infamous call with Georgia Secretary of State Braff Raffensperger, the ex-president, who's now been indicted for it, mentioned Ruby Freeman by name nearly 20 times. 18,000 voters... Uh, having to do with uh, Ruby Friedman, that's, uh, she's a vote scammer, a professional vote scammer and hustler, Ruby Freeman. The minimum number is 18,000 for Ruby, but they think it's probably about 56,000. But the minimum number is 18,000 on the Ruby Freeman night where she ran back in there when everybody was gone and stuffed. She stuffed the ballot boxes. Let's face it, Brad. Can I just say something about that, that, that section, which just to, to take a second here. The, the votes at that point had been counted three times. I think they've been counted, recounted, and hand recounted. So think about how blatantly ludicrous, I mean, past what even Donald Trump could believe, that one woman had just, like, stolen 56,000 votes on a USB and no one had just figured it out. Like, it's not a delusion. It, that's past delusion, right? <laughs> and after they became the target of this harassment campaign from the most powerful man on earth, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss had their lives destroyed. Destroyed. As Moss told the January 6th committee last summer. This turned my life upside down. Um, I no longer give out my business card. I don't transfer calls. I um, don't want anyone knowing my name. I don't want to go anywhere with my mom because she might yell my name out over the grocery aisle or something. I don't go to the grocery store at all. I haven't been anywhere um, at all. Additionally, Ruby Freeman was forced to call 911 multiple times in the weeks after the election over messages containing racial slurs and even death threats, telling one dispatcher, quote, they're saying stuff like, we're coming to get you, we are coming to get you. On at least two occasions, Strangers showed up at Freeman's door in the middle of the night. And then, well, then came Kanye's former publicist. On January 4th, 2021, a woman named Trevion Kuti showed up at Ruby Freeman's door offering to help her. And a terrified Freeman, who had been facing threats for a month now, agreed to meet with Kuti at a local police station. And that's when Trevion Kuti, working in conjunction with a man named Harrison Floyd, apparently tried to threaten Freeman into falsely admitting that she did, in fact, rig the election for Biden. I cannot say what specifically 
will um, take place. I just know that it will disrupt your prison and participate in the You are a loose end for a party that needs to tie What on earth? What a nightmare. What a nightmare. That woman, Trevin Kuti, along with Harrison Floyd, have also both been indicted in the Georgia RICO case. You can see them there in their mugshots. And of course, so too is Rudy Giuliani. We last saw it last week when he was spotted at a second chance bail bonds in Atlanta. But the coup lawyer's legal headaches don't end there. According to a new report in Rolling Stone, special counsel Jack Smith is reportedly probing Rudy Giuliani's apparent drinking problem. Specifically, Smith's investigators want to know, quote, whether Donald Trump was knowingly relying on an inebriated attorney while trying to overturn a presidential election. Giuliani is also facing a lawsuit from a former employee who is accusing him of some truly vile behavior, which I'm not going to repeat here, including graphic allegations of sexual assault and sexual harassment, tirades containing homophobic slurs and anti-Semitic comments, allegations we should note that Giuliani denies. Of course, we do not know how many of those cases will play out. But at the very least, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss have some accountability today. What Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump and the rest of them, what they did to these women was one of the most disgusting aspects of this entire episode. And now he's going to have to pay for it. Trump and his Confederates act like no one will ever hold them accountable. That's how they acted through much of the administration. It's how they acted after the 2020 election, where they tried to destroy these women's lives as part of a headlong run at ending American democracy. It is how they are acting now in many respects. And the only thing that will change their behavior is to do the thing they don't think will happen. Hold them accountable. And not just once. They have to be shown over and over and over and over again. They cannot just get away with everything the way they have most of their lives. And while Giuliani losing a civil defamation case is not the same thing as facing years in prison in Georgia or a potential federal indictment down the line, it is a kind of down payment on actual accountability. So there is some measure of justice today. As Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss said in a statement today, the fight to rebuild our reputations and to repair the damage to our lives is not over. But today, we're one step closer, and for that, we are grateful.